Hey, what's up everybody? This is Muth24, and today I'm going to be doing the third and final part of my Master Grade 00 Riser review. You've seen the 00 Gundam and the O Riser separate. I've gone over the posability and the weapons and accessories of these kits. And if you missed those parts, you can go ahead and click in the annotations above to take you to the previous parts of this review. Uh, but before we put the 00 Gundam and the O Riser together to make the 00 Riser, I'm going to show off where the different lights are inside of this kit. Now, you only get one LED light with the kit, and you're going to have to buy one separate if you want all five locations to light up, which is a bit of a disappointment because the lights aren't exactly cheap, they're not super expensive, but it is kind of disappointing that Bandai only included one. I, I think they should have at least included two or three, uh, just to have you be able to light up the GN drives uh, and the head, and then make the um, binders on the side there a little bit more optional. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the review, there is a peg that runs down through the neck and up to the head that is a clear green color, and that's going to allow the light to shoot up from the chest cavity up into the head and glow out the sides in the front and the back, depending on what stickers you chose to uh, put on there. I used all of the clear stickers on the sides there, uh, so it lights up quite a bit. Uh, you're not going to get anything out of the chest or the back. It's all going to go through the head. Uh, but the way you get at it is you're going to take the backpack off, and it slides off pretty easily enough. And then you're going to spin that and then pop it back. And there's the LED, which just fell out of me. But basically, you have a little switch here. And you're just going to slide that, and the LED goes on. And it flickers a little bit it's just because of how uh, you know tight or loose that screw is uh, to the back. But you'll slide that back into the chest and... Put the cap piece here uh, back on, and then you'll put the backpack on once more. And once you've got all that connected, you might be able to make out that the side of the head there is glowing, uh, as are the eyes, and the little bit of text on the back of the head if I lean it down there. Now as for the GN drives, you're just going to be able to slide these out of the housing units easy enough. And this piece here, if you turn it, it will automatically move the switch for you and just light up like that so you don't have to take anything apart for uh, these GN drives. Finally, should you have five LED units and have two in the GN drives, one in the chest unit, you can put the other two in these binders on the sides here. And basically it just slides into this area underneath the uh, connection piece that will go onto the O riser and eventually onto the double O riser, and then you can just flip this vent open and see between the two clear pieces there that there is indeed some green uh, shining out of there. To transform this thing into the double O riser, it's a pretty easy process. All you're going to do with the O riser is pop the wings off the side here, and then you'll notice with each one of these that this piece slides down, and then there's a little uh, half moon shape that is normally held inside of there, and you're going to take that and pop it onto there, and then slide this back up. And as for the main part, you're going to pull this back, and then pull that out so that it all folds back, very similar to how it does on the high grade. Then you'll slide this little hatch down, and take the peg and just slide it into there, and then these white parts will sort of uh, hang over the top there, and then for the binders, you're going to take the half moon shapes there and line them up with the bottom of the GN drive in the housing unit there, and you'll plug those in, spread the little wings here, fold those in, and then just do the same to the other side. And there you have the Master Grade Double Ariser in all of his glory. I really like the way that this kit looks. Uh, not just the mobile suit itself, which is, I think, a really cool design, but just the way the mask grade looks. There's a lot more fine lines of details in the mold of the kit. Um, it looks a little bit more mechanical than its high-grade counterpart, uh, which was certainly more uh, of a cartoony take because it was a smaller kit and had limitations in that department. Um, but I, I just like the way this looks overall, and I, I love these simple lock mechanisms that just hold the binders up that well. I mean, they don't weigh a ton, but, you know, they're they're pretty sizable, and the fact that these... Uh, you know, few pieces in the shoulders there, or in the GN housing units, rather, uh, will hold them up that well is great. Uh, the one thing that I do have a bit of a complaint with is the fact that the back of the... Uh, with having the O-Riser on his back, it does tend to tug the uh, torso back a little bit. Um, he's not so much prone to falling over as he is sort of just slouching back like this. Um, it's not too bad at the moment, but, you know, over time, if you have him sitting on a shelf, he will do that 
uh, quite frequently, which I think is a good idea to get an action base for this kit, because then you can really get the most out of his poses. I mean, he does look good standing here, but he looks even better when he's up on an action base flying around. One other thing that's kind of cool with the binders attached here is that you can swing them back and forth on the GN housing unit, uh, and the drive will rotate with it so that you can get some uh, much more dynamic flight poses and such when you have him on an action base, or even when he's just on the ground here if you want them angled back. Uh, it'll look pretty cool. You do have to keep in mind, though, that if you have him just on his feet, that will throw off the weight balance quite a bit. It's pretty dark now, but you can see just how bright the green lights are on both the GN drives and on the head. Uh, you might be able to notice there, too, that there's a little bit of light escaping from underneath the neck. That's just because of the way that it's designed. It's really not that noticeable unless, you know, you tilt the head up, then you can see a bunch of it coming through. Um, but as a whole, I really like, like the way that the eyes look there, that the sides of the head look. I think those are probably the brightest parts. And then the back there does light up actually a bit more than I expected it to when it's dark. Uh, you know, when you have the lights off, you can just see the text lighting up, but when it's uh, all lit up like this, you can see quite a bit of the back of the head there. And there you have the vents on the sides of the binders open, along with the GN drive and the head unit all lit up. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm still more a fan of the GN drives and the head unit, but it is kind of nice to have some extra light coming out of the uh, vents there on the binders, if that's your thing. So, can I recommend this kit? Well, I think the biggest question you should ask yourself is how much you like the Double Ariser as a Gundam. Because if it's your very favorite, I think this is going to be a must-have kit for your collection. There's a lot of nice detail on the kit, some really cool features, a lot of weapons and accessories, and some very good posability. Um, I'd say it's a little bit better than some of the more recent Master Grade releases, at least the big ones. Um, but all in all, it is still pretty standard Master Grade posability for today. Now, as I mentioned before, the price point is my one big disappointment with this kit. Uh, I really don't think the 6500 yen price tag is all that justified, considering you don't get three LED units with it, you get one. Um, it'd be great if they gave you five, but even with just three in there, I don't think it would have been quite justified at that. You know, maybe 6,000 yen or, or 5,500 would have been a little bit better. Um, but I do think it's, it's quite a steep price tag for a Master Grade uh, in this day and age. That said, I do think this is a better version of the double O riser over the high grade, and from what I understand of the perfect grade, it's definitely an improvement over that too. Um, I have some other minor complaints, like the fact that it can't hold its big GN Sword 3 uh, worth a darn, but it does hold the other weapons pretty well, and the accessories look very nice on the kit. This kit does have a lot of posability, and I think as either a display piece or a posable model kit, it'll look great in your Gundam collection, and as long as you're really not that uh, discouraged by going the extra mile to make this kit look as best it can, then I would highly recommend this kit for any fan of the Double O Riser itself or Gundam Double O the series. It's a really fun Master Grade. Uh, it definitely shows how far the uh, line has come in the past few years. Anyways, everybody, that pretty much wraps up this review. So with that, I will see you guys next time.